Hello. <clears throat> Hello. How swinging it be. Oh god, it's back. It's back. I don't remember Crash 4 having a post game. Well, sort of does, sort of doesn't. I don't know. It's a little thing. Eh. Now, I've heard from many people that this is cock and ball torture. And I don't know how much of it I'm gonna do. So, quick warning. But we're gonna check it out. We're gonna check at least some of it out. So I didn't get anything there. So let's check out the inverted here. Okay, testing, testing, audio, audio check, audio testing. Let's see, volume, volume. Gotta see if volume is good. <clears throat> it's hard for me to tell. Checking, checking. Well, that was kind of loud. I don't know. Checking, test, testing. I might turn it down one dub. Just one. Just one. Checking, checking, testing, testing. I'm assume that's good. That's, that's what I will go with. How you been? Yeah, I've been all right. I've been okay. Can't complain, I guess. But yeah, the main thing I think I want to do is the, uh, the flashback tapes. I'm just going to start with this. So yeah, that's the super wumpas. So it's like, play the same level again, but we put a shader on it. Oh, no, 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 no. What was that? Did my controller disconnect? Yes, it sure did. I love, I love technology. Hello, where, where is my controls? I'm not playing with the keyboard, so you can just get right over that right now. Oh, what, it peaked? It peaked because I said keyboard, keyboard. Yep, I am not getting any controls. Okay, there we go. No, wait, wait. <laughs> I need a new controller so bad. <laughs> My controller is trying to save me. Yeah, like I said, I don't know how much of this I'm going to actually commit to. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna... Give it a tr Apparently none of it, because if my controller doesn't start working. But I was gonna I was gonna give it a look see. There's something back there. No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah. Shader. We shaded it. I shaded it! I don't remember if you found any of the colored gems already. 
I don't remember finding any. Are these bonus levels different, or are they the same? Because I, I think it's like mirror mode, if nothing else. Oh. Yeah, this is not... This is not gonna go well. This is not gonna go well if my, com my controller keeps doing that. Especially if I'm going for the flashback tapes where you can't die. Up until a certain point. Okay, we got that. We got it. Crikey. No. Okay, this does not bode well, because see... Okay, so my controller was apparently just dead when I got it. When I picked it up to bring it in here, apparently it died. I haven't been using it, so I don't know why. No way! I can't believe this! <laughs> yeah, exactly. So if it keeps doing this, I'll... I'll either have to hope it... I'll just have to, like, hope it's charged enough, or I'll have... Or I'll have to get something else. Oh boy, this looks good with the issues I've been having. Haha. -ha. There we go. What is it? Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember this. I remember Gigantor. See, it's blue and also it's red. The red is the hurt you stuff. Okay, this is... This is kind of loud on my end. I don't know about you guys. Do I need to put the... I might need to put the compressor back on this game. Like, uh, let me know if that makes the game too quiet, but, like, the Sonic... <laughs> the Sonic Frontiers compressor. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay, bye-bye. Oh. There we go. Okay, I got everything except the hidden one. Big, big horn energy. Just gonna casually make a dick joke. One of the color gems requires you to not hit any boxes in the feudal level. Oh, yeah. I feel like I remember somebody telling me that, yeah. Uh, jumping on a series of dimension phasing stones in an early level. I mean, that one had some dimension phasing, but who knows?
So I guess it you mean like one of this one one of these ones It'd be cool if it like hold me Well, let's see. Let's see what we got. Oh, thank you. Very much appreciated. Yeah, this seems like the kind of level where they would make you avoid boxes. But does that count? I don't know if the checkpoint counts, so I'm just gonna assume it does. So it's been a while. What's been up to? Well, me, mostly the same. Mix oh. I think it was one of the nighttime ones. Oh, okay. Cause like I said, I don't know. I don't think it really tells me. And God, I don't remember, so I'll tell you that much. Let's see, what? I mean, this one looks like night. Looks pretty nighty. Okay, so we see a lot of pretty sure it's this one. Okay, just gonna go between. I see the appeal of all that jumping you do. Perhaps I don't have the right body for it. Yeah. Okay, okay, so... Okay, did not, did not break a crate, I don't think. I think that was just a Wumpa. Oh. That was a close one, though. You can get a checkpoint if you enter a bonus round and purposefully die. Good good thinking, honestly. Okay, now this this is the tricky looking part. Oh. Yeah, that it that it that'd do it. Hmm. I don't know if it still counts, so I'm gonna go out and go back in. So yeah, it doesn't give you a double jump, you just float. Oh, but I think you can... I think you can undo it, like you can back out of it. And then do a double jump. Oh, look at us, just like the old days. Working together against those who keep us down and humiliate us by forcing us to pick out our own birthday card and sign them from him. I can't say I see the appeal of all that jumping you do. Perhaps I don't have the right body for it. Yet. No, it does give you a double jump, so I don't know what the deal was. Oh, no, I think I know what the deal is. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's charged enough at this point. <laughs> I swear. Can you believe that? Can you believe it? It's not act it's not actually that unbelievable. Hang on, gotta connect. Working on it. They are both in pairing mode. 
So it should be any second now. Any second now. Any second now. Tap them together for good luck. <laughs> uh, I love to. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, let's hope. Let's hope that's enough. There's allegedly a way in Windows for you to see the battery percentage, but I can't remember if I ever got that to work. So, you know. Okay, trying that again. Oh, look at us. It's like the old days. And he bought, uh, he made me buy my own birthday card and I, and he'd sign it from him. I mean, he could have at least paid, you know. Okay, that that works too. Eh, eh. Okay, he he's just not gonna. He's just not gonna pay any attention to me. Okay, so it doesn't put you into a spin. I wasn't sure. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, good, good. So far, so good. Cool. Now it may seem like I'm dragging my feet a little bit here, but is that the name of the level? Okay, no, it's dragging on. So okay, I still, I still get my points. Oh no! No! <laughs> If I restart the level, does, is that good enough, or do I really have to go back to the map? Because I have no idea. I'm sorry, Embryo, your lines are very funny, but I can only hear them so many times. Oh, 
Oh, no, no. I ate my double jump. <laughs> well, you know what? Die. Like, as long as I don't break a crate, it's okay. Making rookie mistakes. The rookiest of all. Oh no, wait, isn't there like. Oh yeah, I got like the, the speedy spin. The super speedy spin. Except I got. <laughs> Except I speedily spin into my certain demise. Nah, guys, this is a lot better than the dash boots. Trust us. Trust us. The crash ash dash. Crash his ass dash. Crash will dash in order to smash. Nope, nope. Oh, that was almost bad. That was almost very bad. But almost bad means it was not bad. I thought that I was supposed to kill him. This is not going well so far. De definitely not going well. No, it's better! Much better! <laughs> of course, I can also make the excuse that I haven't played this game in actually several months. You know, jumping right back into it. Nothing's gonna- nothing's gonna go wrong. Oh. Am I supposed to wait for him to turn around? Cause, like... You know, when I don't have any checkpoints, it's- it's good knowledge to have. Yeah, replay the whole level. Replay the whole level. Speed run. Speed run.
There we go. There we go. I am so lucky that did not break a crate. Okay, okay. Wait for the dragon to go by. Just lost audio for no reason. No. God, that, those freaking, the, because I keep thinking I can go in the foreground to get past them. That is not the case. You gotta, you gotta go over. Don't worry, this time, this time I got it. Guaranteed or your money back. Disclaimer, you will not actually get your money back. I don't think, like at, at least half of you don't even have any money to get back. But, but listen, I, I'm pretty sure I cannot refund prime subs. So I should probably put a disclaimer that no, you will not, you will not get your prime sub back. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't think it is within my power. Oh no, no, no. I, I, I jumped the gun. I got freaked out. If I, if I spend too long on this, I might, you know, try going for the flashback tapes instead. Because at least with those, you only have to play through part of the level without dying. But yeah, it almost... Like, I don't know, Crash is kind of a weird thing when it comes to 100%, because, like, normally... I'm like totally cool with going for 100% in a crash game, or at least close to it. And honestly, it, in a few of them it kind of feels wrong not to. Like it definitely feels like a game that's designed around you like trying to do these extra challenges. But I can definitely see the argument that they went too far with this one, because even though I'm, you know, not to that point yet where most of the worst stuff is. Like, I, I have heard about some of the stuff that they do. Like, I think you have to get all crates and not die or something like that. And, I mean, I'm, I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one, Chief. Uh-oh. That's for 100 or and 6 or whatever. Yeah, but at what point does 106 just become 100%? Like, like can I say that I've 100%ed Crash 3? Because I haven't I haven't done everything. There we go. Like I didn't get the platinum relics or whatever. Like, at what point, at what point does it just not count? Like, is 106 the actual 100%? Or is it just 100%? Like, what, where does it stop? Where does it end? I don't e I don't even know at this point. Nope, no, no, no.
<laughs> the 106 world record speed run is over six and a half hours. Yeah, that's how you know it's bad. Okay, I need I need better timing on this. Oh, okay. Well, that didn't kill me at least. I think I have to just kind of walk around the crate. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Actually, I'm fine. How am I doing this? I, I did it. I did it. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, relatable. Relatable Crash Bandicoot reference humor. Speaking of relatable reference hum humor, you hear that Gex is coming back? <laughs> Okay, so we got that, at least. I don't know where any of the others are, so... I need to figure out where the tapes are. Does it, like, show on the world map? Where does it- where does it- oh, yeah, it shows right- shows right there. So, let's see. Let's see. Where's- where's tapes? Where am I missing tapes? C cool tapes? Okay, so off balance. So we need to get to a certain part in the level without dying. That is our goal. Have I got- what- what else have I gotten here? Okay, so I haven't gotten all the crates and I haven't got the minimal death gem. But... I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get all the freaking things. We'll probably buy the Gex collection 50% for the memes and 50% to see if the games are actually good. I mean, I played a little bit of Gex 1 and it, it seemed, it seemed fine. You know, it didn't, maybe not mind blowing, but you know, it, it seemed like a good enough 2D platformer. I mean, I don't know, maybe I'll stream Gex in the near future. Strike while the iron is hot. Now, I, I have to unlearn... I have to unlearn the muscle memory of don't hit crate. And I also gotta figure out where the heck this tape is. Oh, that that's a spicy crate right there, if you're not careful. It's the only one in the Gex series that was released for Saturn. No, I promise. I promise that's a coincidence. I mean, I actually have the PC version of Gex 1, though I'm wondering if I should play it on the Saturn just for the bit. Yeah, it was, it, it was a B-tier platformer, you know, not much more, not much less from the sound of it. Oh, uh, tape! Tape! Okay, there we go. So, I think I have to finish. Yeah, that is true. The PC version probably would have better load times. I don't know. I'm not- I'm not so committed to the- the bit that I would go for the inferior version. Oh yeah, Tomba was pretty cool from what I played of it. God, there's- there's so many games. There's so many good quality type games that I need to play. Okay, so it can, Well, maybe it can just be a spin. I just- I- now- I think I gotta finish the level in order to keep this tape.
It'd be cool if I could just leave. But you know, life isn't fair. Oh, okay, no. <laughs> cool. So do I get to do I get to keep it? Did I did I lose it? I don't even know. I mean, I thought I got to keep it. Uh. Great. I I'll be honest. I'll be honest. This game could maybe stand to be a bit clearer about its absurd rules. It's like, does Crash, does Crash have the tape right now? Oh, what's that? My bit bitrate died? Did the internet die? Okay, so that's pretty cool. Okay. Is it gonna come back anytime soon? Oh wait, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Give it a second. Give it one second. Okay, that should be enough. Like I said though, no idea if I still have the tape. It doesn't look like I do, but I swear I thought that you you could just keep the tape as long as you didn't die before you got it. There's a nitro. Ah, oh, yeah, parkour. Parkour. Ah, yes, nightmare platforming. I mean, I guess we'll find out if I get to keep it, and then we'll know. We'll know for sure after that. Uh-oh. Don't touch the flames! Okay, do I get to keep the tape? Yes, I do. Okay. That's good to know. That is good to know. Good information to have for the future. Okay, now where's the next place? I'm missing one. It is Run It By You. All these goofy, goofy names.
All right, so just just don't die until you get there. Oh god, I remember these. I hated these. Luckily for me, they're not the goal right now. The goal is simply not to die. Oh, no, don't do that. There's a colored gem here, too. Hmm. You know, I can't say that I rem remember anything peculiar, so I'll have to keep an eye out. The problem with a game like this is that there, there's more things to distract the eye than in the PS1. On PS1, it's like you get you get three polygons. Take it or leave it. Oh yeah, I, I remember the tropical freeze music though. David Wise, guest composer. Oh dear, oh no. No, no, okay, I'm good. Oh, wait, I died. <laughs> I just remembered I died. <laughs> I kinda died! I mean, the speedy spin does make it a bit easier to get at those. I need to remember I even have that. Oh crap, crap, I panicked! I panicked, I didn't think I got it. <laughs> Alright, I really need to find out if resetting the level is good enough. Because, you know, that would help me out a lot. Also, excuse me. Yeah, it's a very particular rhythm. Sorry, let me let me see something here. Oh, this this ain't extending. Oh god. Did I crash? <laughs> oh boy. Tonight's stream is just going beautiful.
is just going great. It's not a catastrophe. Just going beautiful. Going great. I love it. Love it. Okay, checking, checking. Okay, can I get video back? Can I get video back? No. Oh, wait, it disabled itself for some reason. How many times has the stream ended? Two. Which is more than it, it really should be, I recognize, but, you know, oh, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Like I said, like I said, it's just going bloody beautiful. It's going lovely. Oh no, I remember why I went back to the map, because restarting the level still loads. For whatever godforsaken reason. Okay, let's let's try that again second verse same as the first except this time I smell a whole lot worse uh -oh. Imagine a crash game that was a collectathon like Spyro. I mean, Twin Sanity was like almost in that sort of direction, but it didn't really commit to it. But really, though, this song slaps. Oh, okay. I don't feel good about those ropes. I mean, I've said a million times that <laughs> Crash is basically like a... like a 3D Donkey Kong Country game. And I stand by that. Oh, wait, my taskbar is annoying. Focus. Please move taskbar out of the way. Thank you. I have, like, the taskbar set to hide itself in Windows so that I can, like, you know, see the OBS full thing. But sometimes it, it doesn't want to hide itself when I want it to hide. Like the worst horror game protagonist you've ever seen. Okay, I'm not I'm not concerned with the crates right now. Not concerned. No 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 don't die. Gotta remove the tunt. Just can't die. Just cannot die. But I have the mosque. 
which is not quite as useful in this game. Like, I was glad to learn that people thought <laughs> Aku Aku was kind of neutered in this game. Like, it wasn't just me. Yes. Hmm. I wonder if you can, like, follow him there. Like, can you crouch down and maybe, like, go with him? You know, that that's my first idea to try. Okay, we're gonna get- we're gonna get through this quick. Hey, look, there he is! Oh, no! Okay, got a flashback tape, you know, but let, let's replay I'm going to... I'm going to, like, check out my idea. Because, I mean, I have a lead here. And I want to pursue that lead. No, okay, thank you. Wob and beave. I mean, I already got the don't die thing. Come on, lad, I ain't got all day. I ain't got all day. Yeah, just gonna twerk on the haters a little bit. No, no. I hate these ropes. That's a really cool noise I just made. I promise I don't do it on purpose. That's just how I react to sudden shock. And being suddenly shocked. By the electric chair. Oh, uh, okay, bingo bo. The, <laughs> the, the key to a good joke is knowing when to let it die. Let it die, let it die, let it shrivel up and die. Come on, who's with me? Uh, yes. I love the ropes. Let me show you the ropes. No, really, show, show me the ropes, because apparently I can't find them. The ropes of failure, yeah. Either the ropes of failure or the dustin of failure. I'll tell you that. Oh, I'm a failure. The problem is you need you need to have confidence that I do not. <laughs> I'm up here now. You want a level to truly fail. What, me or the level? Who's failing? Am I failing or is the level failing? You're probably gonna say like CM25 or something. Crash or Spyro. Uh, I'm more of a Crash man, but I also haven't played that much Spyro. 
So I, I feel like maybe it's... Maybe I am not educated enough to say. Is there anything in that corner? Nope. But there could have been. You can't take that from me. Could I recommend you Labyrinth Zone Act 3 on a GBA? Oh no, that's easy. Like, okay, the GBA version of Sonic 3, Sonic 3, Sonic 1 plays much worse, but not in a way that's like going to stop me from beating it. Like, I, I've beaten Sonic 1 Genesis several times. Or at least two. Yeah, twerk on the haters. It. And then this is not going to be it. And I'm going to have gone all this way for nothing. Damage list included. True, but that's like adding another thing on top of the level. That's not the level itself. Self-imposed challenge does not count. Okay, let me see. No, you can't. No, can't do it. Can't do it. So, yeah, I don't... I don't exactly know. I don't exactly know where the colored gym is. I can try a few things. Can I go this way? Uh, no, not really. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that for now. I will figure that out at a later date. <laughs> I do think if Sega had more time, they could have made Sonic 1 GBA great, aside from the screen crunch. Oh yeah, the, I mean, if they had more time, and they cared a little bit more... Like, I mean, Sega, that is. I'm sure, I'm sure, like, uh, the thing is, no game developer ever wants to put out a bad game. Or at least almost never. So I'm sure that they were like, <laughs> you know, I'm sure that they didn't want Genesis to turn out the way it did. But yeah, stealth uh, proved that you could do it a lot better. Like, it wasn't the GBA's fault. Oh yeah, I remember when I was playing this level, I had a bunch of stutters. A bunch of, like, frame drops. And I can't- I can't help but wonder, like, how much of that was my capture card being... ...weirdly performance... ...heavy. Taking. Because, yeah, for whatever reason, like I've said before... ...when- when my cap- Ugh. But when my capture card is open, for some reason, like, games run a lot worse. Apparently that's just like an Aver Media thing in general. So that- that kind of sucks, but... Oh wait, I need to restart the level. Sonic's 15th is one of the worst anniversaries ever. Yeah. You got Sonic 06, and you got that port. Was not going so good. But I don't know. The question... I guess if you're talking about, like, okay, what Sonic games could work on GBA? I guess it depends on how you define work. You know, like, I think on a technical level, the Game Boy Advance could run all of them. Like, even Chaotix, if you really wanted to. Like, the screen crunch, the low resolution problems, that's gonna happen. That's gonna happen no matter what, basically. There's a lot of games that ran on GBA that, you know, maybe shouldn't have. But I mean, you know, everybody was like, 
like, how cool is this? You know, like, we can have Super NES games on the go now. And I mean, it was pretty cool. I, I guess the thing is, you always gotta... <laughs> you always gotta think, like... We, we, we definitely have the benefit of hindsight... Oh. Uh, OBJ ass, my beloved. We always have the benefit of, uh, you know, hindsight. Because, like, okay. Obviously, in the year of our Lord 2023... I, I definitely wish that Super Mario 64 DS had been released on the 3DS instead of the regular DS. How do I get down? I forgot. Okay. But, but yeah, I mean, I can say that, but the truth is... Who, who knows if they had any idea that the 3DS was going to exist at that point? I mean, that said, they probably should have given the original DS an analog nub like the PSP had. But, you know, it is, it is what it is. Speaking of... I was planning on, at some point, maybe, like... Revisiting Mario 64 DS, and if I do, then I'm probably going to go with the uh, analog mod for the DS version because I just probably would have more fun doing that. Mario's Holiday 2. No, 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 no. I mean, Mario's Holiday would be a lot better with that mod, I'll be real with you. Like, a lot of the problems I was having with Mario's Holiday was that... The, the way that that game achieved analog control... ...didn't, didn't always work the way it was supposed to. <laughs> But, this method is a lot more direct. Like, as in, it actually reads your analog stick instead of just trying to, like, you know, mouse over. So, it should go a lot better. I, I tried it out for a little while. Oh, dear. Oh, no. How do I get up there? You should play Super Mario 64 on Super 3D All-Stars using only the D-pad. No, I, I think I should very much not do that. Oh, wait, wait, hang on. Meh, meh. Okay. I remember playing 64 DS on the Wii U and it still felt pretty cumbersome. Yeah, that's because that's because it didn't add any analog. It didn't add any analog controls. You were still you were still using effectively D-pad controls just on an analog stick. Why not? It's different from 64 DS's use of the D-pad. Because it, it wouldn't be particularly fun, and I just kind of don't want to. That's why. Oh dear, oh dear. I saved it! I saved it! <laughs> okay, another tape has been achieved. Okie dokie. Okay, so we're missing both the tapes here. The Egopus Dimension. It's like this game was like, okay, it's the multiverse, but also it's like time travel. God, we don't know what it is at this point. It's any, it's everything. Crash is going literally everywhere.
It's about time, silly. Oh, but it's apparently also about the multiverse. They make that very clear. Oh yeah, getting the getting those are, is so much easier if you can like get the spin. Oh, oh no. I mean, right now I'm just focusing on the tapes. Just focusing on the tapes. At some point I probably will try to get all the like crates or whatever. Maybe I won't, I don't know. But that is not right now. But yeah, all that talk about Donkey Kong really makes me wish that they would do something with Donkey Kong sometime in the near future. That would be lovely. Not without a guide. Yeah, there were some levels where I thought I got most of them and it's like... Uh, no, no, bucko. No, no, dumbass. Imagine they make an MC map like with the Mario map for the Wii U and Switch versions. What? Who? Who makes a map? Nintendo's idea of doing something with Donkey Kong is letting you download a PNG of him for 50 platinum coins. Not untrue. DK has been transformed into Lego and they'll never transform him back. Oh no, that's happening to Sonic too! No way, never mind. Superstars is coming out. So they cloned him and then turned that into Legos. Of course. How could I never have seen it before? No, Sega! Don't tip. Oh, well, well, there's the hidden gem, by the way. No, Sega! Don't turn me into marketable Legos! How do you even, how do you, how would you even get that? Okay, so it's like, it's like up here. Oh, okay, like that. A few years ago, there's a free MC map if you happen to you oh, the Wii U version of Minecraft, and it was added later. Yeah, yeah, like the Mario map, yeah, I know about that, but what do you say? Like, what is the what if here? Like, what if what? What are they making? Oh yeah, I mean, LEGO Dimensions did have Sonic in it. But yeah, Sonic Superstars is having like a LEGO skin for everybody. Not sure why- oh dear, I messed that up. So you see all the bugs? That's how you know it's stinky. Do I, do I still have the, the gym? Yeah, I still do. Was the dimension stuff any good, lol? Uh, I don't know, I never had LEGO Dimensions. I mean, I heard people say that LEGO Dimensions was actually kinda alright. But I was just, I was not into the Toys to Life stuff. Like, it, it, it always seemed very greedy to me. But now it's dead. Every every toys to life except amiibo is dead at this point, I think. Okay, yeah, so so far getting the flashback tapes has been pretty easy. It has well, maybe not easy, but it's been all right. The appeal of LEGO Dimensions seemed to be that you could make Sonic and Bart talk to each other. There's a game also. I mean, I will give them credit. I appreciate the fact that they saw their opportunity to reference the... Take it, Bart. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it! And they did.
Like, I, I respect that. Also, I have died literally like three seconds into this level. I mean, every platform in this game is a falling platform. There, there is not a single solid platform in the entire game. There, there are too many Lego game. Yeah, probably. Honestly, it's it's a little unfortunate. God. Honestly, it's a little unfortunate that Traveler's Tales is like just the Lego developer now. Because as you've seen on my streams, they've they've made some interesting stuff like Sonic R. They made like the Toy Story 2 game, Toy Story 1 game, Mickey Mania. You that hasn't been on stream yet, but it probably will be one day. And they even made uh they even made some of the crash games. Oh yeah, Sonic 3D Blast, that's another one. But now it's just kind of like, okay, they're making Lego Lego Incredibles. Lego Marvel, Lego Batman, Le <laughs> Lego the Avengers. <laughs> it's like I don't know. I kind of I kind of miss the variety. I mean, I'm glad they have like a solid gig, but yeah, I, I do kind of miss the variety that Traveler's Tales used to have. Yeah, when I played 3D Blast on stream, I, I played the Saturn version because... Well, you know, everybody plays the Genesis version, and I, I had it, so... I was like, you know what? You know what? Like, let, let's show everybody what the Saturn one looks like. Got cool special stages. Oh, I have to phase that out of existence, right? I have to assert with my mind. Mm, I, I mean, I guess it could be argued that Director's Cut is official, but I guess it could also be argued just as easily that it isn't. So, I, I don't know. Honestly, though, I, I'm gonna be real with you. I've said this before in, like, Discord and stuff. But I'm not super crazy about the control changes he made to that game. Like, to me, the physics feel worse. I mean, that may not be a, po a popular opinion. I like Crash goes like... That's good. You know, what's funny is that... After I got done streaming this game last time, there was a bit of discourse about, like, the design of Crash in this game. Like, some people apparently feel like Crash is a bit too sanitized looking. Like, he, he's not... Like, he's not the demented freak show that he is in the, uh, Naughty Dog games. Oh, wait, I, I just screwed it up. I want to see if that crate came back, but it, it didn't. But then I realized I screwed up the universe. Just walked off a cliff pretty as you please. Without a care in the world. I mean, it turns out that you can get through it kind of fast if you know what you're doing. Like a lot of retro games. I mean, I will say I appreciate a game like this being made at this point in time. 
outside of the special stages, what's the difference between the PC and Saturn versions? Not a lot. That That's the big one, is that the PC versions, special stages suck dookie. But besides that, I don't think too much is different. Like, can I... I want to see if I can, like... Dodge hitting that. Like, what is that? Well, okay, that's a crate right there. That's like a crate I probably would have missed. I don't know. It's been, it's been so long since I played this level that I, I don't recall if I missed that. I'm just assuming that past Dustin would have missed it. No, I mean, why would you even- why would you hit that? The grind chase. That's how you know things are getting serious. Still haven't seen the tape, which is concerning. And I still don't have a mask. That much I definitely remember about this game is that it does not want to give you the mask ever. Is that the end of the level? Nope. It sure is not. Wait, yeah, I see that. Found the hidden gem. What do you do about this? I guess you do that. That doesn't feel like on purpose, but... You know, who am I to argue? And it just keeps coming. You know, Dinosaur Times would be a truly terrifying place to exist. And I am glad that I do not. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a little gruesome right there. You ever think about that? Like, Mario... Like... Mario is always dropping Bowser into lava. That's kind of messed up, dude. I mean, he does kind of deserve it, but you know. I mean, in New Super Mario Brothers, he, he like melts the dude's flesh clean off. And we just gloss over that. We're just like, that's it so nice. And that's it. That's the end of, that's the end of it. That's, that's a so nice. You know what, I'll try actually playing some of the flashback tapes now. Alright, here we go. And we just gloss right over it. Oh wait, gotta turn voices back up. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Yeah, let's make a whole level about these stupid things. I love them. They are my favorite block in all the world. That's a lie. I hate them. But don't tell them I said that. Oh! Ow! Well, I've already messed this up. Come 
Come on, crash. Get the stupid thing. Okay, so the trick is there's no there is no block down here. Oh, no, no. <laughs> uh, crash and bandicoot torture. This is like a Mega Man thing. Mega Man platforming. Oh no, oh no. There we go. Oh no. I done goofed it. No wait, no wait. This is this is repairable. Or is it? Is it? Yes, it is. Okay. Just imagine the the buzzing block sound effect for this. That's my best impression. Absolute, absolute best you're gonna get. Now what what do I do about this? Oh. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, we're gonna be here a while, aren't we? We're gonna be doing these for three hundred thousand years. PC version is missing some graphical effects. Yeah, I had a feeling that that was probably the case. Oh! <laughs> what was that? That's the danger of twerking, I guess. The load times are much shorter. Well, I mean, I guess that's the... That's the benefit. A soul for a soul. Turns out that these get pretty hard the further you go.
I mean, I don't really need to wait on that. <laughs> Wonderful. I might just do this one and then call it for the night. I don't know. Cause I'm getting a little hungry. See those, those wumpas that I collect do not transfer to me in real life. And I wish they would. Or oh, there we go. I don't even know why I'm bothering to like do the whole shebang. Because you, you don't get any points for the Wumpas. You really don't. Do we even know what Wumpa fruit is supposed to taste like? You know, I feel like we had this discussion when I was playing this game proper. But honestly, they always give me like a mango-y sort of vibe. Now, what- how do I- how do I get rid of this? Oh, I almost- I almost had that. I think I just have to start a spin, like, early. So that it's almost over by the time I get down there. See, I, I think when you think about it, these old like video ga video game platformer mascots represent the seven deadly sins, right? Like, okay, Mario represents greed because he collects coins. Sonic represents pride because he collects rings, which are something you normally wear. C Crash represents gluttony. You know, I don't think I need to explain the train of thought from there. And I don't- I don't know what the others are. I mean, maybe you could argue that Sonic represents lust instead. But usually lust is not associated with marriage, it's usually like... I mean, I'm sure there's some involved, but... You know, it's usually adultery. How many girls is Sonic trying to marry anyway? Or boys, I mean, I'm not judging. But I've, you know, I've never, I've never seen him... I mean, well, let's be honest, that we've never seen him express interest in anyone. Except, well, maybe, maybe once. I don't, I don't know, I'm getting off track at this point. And at this point, I think it's the track with all the people tied to it. The point I'm trying to make is that I have tied Crash to the railroad tracks and am personally responsible to, for his death. Lester the Unlikely is lust. Mm, I don't know, I find that unlikely. Lester the Unlikely is, is baffling as a game that somebody actually made. It's like one of those indie games that they don't actually expect you to finish. Like getting over it with Bingular Fodley.
Okay, yeah, like that. Like that is what you do. Uh-oh, that one's still in the process of disappearing. Uh-oh. Uh, did I just destroy the world? And all that live inside? Well, I, I did now. <laughs> 301 boxes. I wouldn't be surprised if at least half of those are nitro. So, so don't, don't worry too hard. Yeah, see, like, the <laughs> Like these nitro boxes that they littered everywhere. Honestly, I'm sure I was right at the end when I died. But I want to get all boxes. I cannot believe I did not die from that. Okay, the problem is, I, I can't rush. Yes! Okay. Oh, th this is one of these with a checkpoint in it. Oh. But, the checkpoint lets me keep my boxes, so I'm effectively starting a new level from this point onward. Okay, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Great and wonderful. Ah, oh, cool. I, I love it when I do that. Oh, you thought I was done for. How did I survive that? I got no idea. And it goes on and on and on. It just goes on and on and on. Okay. I see, there we go. That is 301. And with that, I think I'm going to stop about now. I don't know if it's a little early because the stream got cut off, so my timer's gone. I should probably have an independent timer from OBS. Like, just have a stopwatch going. So we know exactly how long we've been going for. But either way, I didn't do that tonight. Either way, I'm, I'm going to grab something. I'm going to grab a snack. I will see you around. I'll see you next time for more pape. More pape. See you around.